Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a short update video regarding Christ University and its waitlisted students. So yes guys, there's another delay for the same. Make sure you watch this video till the very end because I will be answering a lot of queries that all you waitlisted students have put up. So yes guys, a new waitlisted date has come up which is 14th of August. Today is 31st of July and this was the deadline date when university had told you guys that they would get back to you people telling whether you've been selected or you've not been selected. Now there are multiple analogies regarding it and I've received multiple questions from a lot of you people regarding the same. So I will be answering that. Number one question which I've received from so many people is why is this happening so guys I think a couple of days back when I made the video on the refund I did talk about it that for all the waitlisted students that was a bad news that the university is providing full 100% refund on the fees so that means people are now willing to keep the option as a backup option like for Christ University for a long time that they can because they would they know that their money is safe and they would get back their money till the time they would get other colleges and they, till the time they're sure of joining some other college. Now second thing that I also want to talk about is that some people have cleared the waitlist. So guys, uh, I know a lot of students would have gotten the 14th August as the new date for letting know of the admissions, but that's not the only case. I've also received uh, a lot of emails and a lot of people have booked up the personal guidance, the ones who've cleared uh, the Christ University's waitlist. So basically, it's just like slowly and steadily, the university is letting people know whether they've been selected, not selected. And for the others, the ones they're not really sure and they don't want to let go of, but right now there are no seats, they're delaying it further and hence 14th of August is the date. Now also I've received another question which is will we get late for the session? So guys I don't think so you guys will get late for the session. Yes that's the truth that Christ University starts its session the first. Earlier it was supposed to start on 26th of July and it got delayed and hopefully in the month of August it will get started but don't worry even if like they let you know about the waitlist after uh, a couple of days of starting the session which is rare but in case even if that happens don't worry you guys aren't missing a lot as, as long as you're making it through Christ University. Next question that I got from a lot of people is that should we lose hope and should we just forget about Christ University? So guys, I mean, to be really frank, uh, the thing is, I don't want you guys to just linger on with Christ University only. Why? Because we just don't know, you know, waitlist is a lot about luck and chance. They've liked you, we know that and that is the reason they waitlisted you. But whether you will make it through or not, this thing it doesn't decide on the admission criteria. This is more of a fate which is basically dependent on other people withdrawing their admission or you know seats getting empty. So on that level, I don't want you guys to keep a lot of hope but obviously don't lose hope too. Just keep this at the side and focus on the other big things that are coming. Another question that I've got is that will it delay further? So basically guys, I do not have an answer to that. However, I personally think that they should not delay it further. Uh, multiple reasons but number one is that the board results have come out. Okay, so see CBSE has also announced their board results so now everybody knows their percentage that they've got and a lot of people with their percentage they can make out whether they will make it through MU which is Mumbai University or DU because they can see the past years cut off patterns and all those things so a lot of people would have a lot of clarity in their mind so that could be the reason why you know they might withdraw or ask for a refund. Second reason why I think it should not delay further because 14th of August is I guess around about the date when Christ University might start its new session as well so it could be either not really sure but but I mean it could also delay further considering that people might just still want to keep the money there till the time they really they really get the tangible admission in their hand. You know even though like the marks are out but DU and MU are going to start the process a little late because their colleges usually start around September, October and you know maybe because of COVID they delay it even further. So by that time if people want to keep still keep their money parked because Christ University at the end of the day is a very great option to have even to join even to keep as a backup. So all those things are there. So these were the questions that I received from you guys. Naturally a lot of questions might still be there in your head. For those purposes you can definitely book up my personal guidance and doubt clearing session. I will be putting down the link of that in the description below. So do check it out and if you feel the need uh, please book it up so that you can talk to me individually because every case is different. Every child is different somebody is looking at uh, some colleges somebody is not looking at some colleges so I can I can surely help you path your way forward 
would guide you guys better in terms of which university you should apply, which one you should keep as a backup, which are the safe options, which are the risky options, all those things. So definitely see me for that. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any doubts, questions, queries. Share this video and last but not the least guys, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you guys can receive regular updates of whenever I upload any new video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.